Hey guys, we're gonna do a nice dungeon, a Lich's Slayer, which is a 70 dungeon with all nice rewards of Apollo stuff. With Bloody, uh, Rai and Gargamel. Bloody is 85k BR. And let's see, Garg is 86 and Rai is 65 and I'm 70. So let's go and see how it works out. I'm apparently the tank. Let's see if we can switch places. So very strong team. And um, this is my first run in Lich's Lair. And let's get something is missing, which is always the sound. All right. So where are we going? We got here Aridola's shield. I don't know who Aridola is. Oh, so everybody's preparing for class wars, so Garg doesn't have his physical defense set. Mystery box. Another bounty scroll. Darn it. All right, and here we got the first mini boss, Andola, Dungeon Guardian. Ten thousand hit. Fifteen K lightnings. Crits from. 18k from Garg, 17k Slasher. Alright, that I think is a bleeding thing, 20 something he did. I'm in full offense mode, you see no shield. Although I could have taken a shield instead of the whirlwind. But I rely on our nice healers. Now I can chain cast. Delphix, which is wonderful. There we go, another slasher will give me enough rage for Delphix. And I even got a rage reduction. So this is what I love from the rings. Rage reduced by 40% only because I have level 40 rings. Which are perfectly fine, they're, they're actually at the same level as level 70 rings which are not legendary. And by that I mean with the extra gem. So very easy job for the first mini boss, it's of course normal difficulty also. And we are all rather strong, some more than others of course. But with the 60 set I now do pretty good and the main quest also completed 720,000 experience with 80,000 gold really good hurry to the transport there we go 3 AOEs 12, 12, 11, 11, 11. very nice Very nice. Garg and Bloody of course hitting really strong. Got Blacktooth the Bishop's Aid here. I don't know which bishop he is helping. 10,000. We can take that. So Rai is asking if the scatter works on this guy and the answer is does not. So for those who also care, that's info. You know it's like 
quite enjoyable when you're like when the party is so strong and it's going smooth as butter it's very enjoyable although some other times when you're failing a lot and then you win that's also kind of cool almost out that was really quick on this boss Really good. So yeah, and I haven't been in this dungeon for a long time because I was of course doing repeated, repeatedly moon. Because uh, I was gathering the uh, the stone, the crystals and the legend stones for the 60 PV set. So by the time I now get to do it, we're all so strong that it's rather easy. Of course, especially because of Gargan Bloody. It's a very confusing place. That's my first impression. Ancient Lair. Is that the final boss? No, it looks like a... One of those Luxstone Daru places. I like these undead warriors, they got really good design to them. They're like little kung fu mummies or something. So this is like, <laughs> reminds me of Spire, the mobs just keep on coming. Alright. 99,000 experience and a level 7 luck stone. Nice. I'm just gonna. Ah, uh, okay. I was gonna take an experience scroll. Okay, next time. Oh, there is the big boss. The end demon bishop level 72. Let's go Brutality, Enhanced Delphic Destroyer and with a Rage Reduction on top. So if the 30% the 30 Rage activates with the Rage Reduction I could maybe cast a Delphic Destroyer almost straight away and I, <laughs> I have 60 Rage after that, it's wonderful. Going crazy with Delphics now. Seventeen thousand lightning from guard. Multiple eleven eleven. Beautiful. Deep freeze, purify, and blessed light will clean up the party and put it in a good shape. Very nice. He is so in trouble. I have plenty of rage and nothing to cast, so whirlwind it is. The other guys are on the other Delphix are on CD. There you go. CD is getting ready. I should be able to cast it quite soon. There we go. That's probably my last attack. Deep freeze, purify, bless light again, beautiful. 17, 19, 17, 18, 19, or it was actually close to 20. So we're in a beautiful, fully healed state. We beat the Jesus out of this boss. And there we go. More crystals, nice. So that was not the final one, it seems. So there are there are three minis here. Really nice. Really good. Or maybe the first one was elite. I didn't see. Anyhow, always the first time is strange. You don't know what's going on, but it's all good fun. Got here, lich warriors. 
Also 72. Whoa, whoa. See, the whirlwind from the night is much, much slower than, of course, Reign of Fires. It's also slower than the, the Archer, Lunatic Fire. I think that was the name of their AoE. Again, a creepy, like, area, dungeons and everything. This time I don't have enough, so Rage, with the 60 set, of course, you don't have enough to do whirlwind straight away. That's one of the few disadvantages that it has but of course all those disadvantages are offset totally by all the advantages that it has but still it, it's, it's it was always nice to be able to cast uh, whirlwind on round one and here are stairs to the lich chieftain's throne So here we go. Any time now. Oh, by the way, while I'm at it, there you go. Took the shield instead of the whirlwind. Apparently, no scatter needed for this boss. So it seems like from the from the chat that the guys are having, it seems that um, it's like a full attack type of a boss. No scatter, limited healing. Everything is good. There we go. All right, Uldra. Hello, Uldra. Zalich Chieftain. Let's see, we got Brutality, EDD, we got Healing from Guard, I wonder that was maybe preventive, he was expecting a stronger hit I think. Santorio also very nice, all good so far, bloody holding the front really well, Deep Freeze, Thunder, Lightning, Ultimate Slasher. Another dull effect, lightning. We're doing good. One life is done. Wow, he just did a casual 30,000 damage to Bloody. I, I almost missed that. That was really quiet. There's double restoration. Both will go on Bloody, of course. Let's get a shield on. Just in case. So this boss is just like doing quite strong damages but for, for, for a let's say a newly 70 level party this would be tough I think. But our party is handling it really well but still with all these punishments the boss is uh, oh, we got mass stunned can do nothing All right, we're awake. It's nice of the boss to wait and we got this cooldown time reduced by 100%. Wow, that's awesome. So we can just like chain cast spells, which is great. Check that out, it's thunder, thunder. I just did and it has Dolphin Destroyer and I can do it again. Straight away. Excellent. Gonna do one. They're like, there's no cooldown. It's absolutely wonderful. Brutality. So he's still on the third life. We're just about to go to the second life. 
but this is like mass chain hitting of all the best spells everybody has so just need rage every time he attacks we get full rage it seems that's the thing cooldown time reduced by 100% keep on smashing the guy my health is kinda low but it'll be alright healing is here just keep on that it's amazing we just keep on thunder thunder after thunder delphic after delphic I wonder if the archer can do sniper continuously. Yup, there is the sniper. This is madness. Really cool that they could like innovate and, and set up something that's different than previous dungeons. Come on. Oh, there is also the damage reduction by 30% which is really important the Rai is doing it again and again so the party is handling it really good but it is a really good party so I don't expect it um, as easy as this for, for an average party And if you notice, maybe that the boss is constantly under bleeding runes, one after another. I don't think he had a single round without bleeding. So he hits you and you immediately get 100 rage. So you can just chain cast the best spell you got all the time. So for Garg that's healing and healing. Bloody is chain casting thunder. I took the regular Delphic, but okay, it's done. As fun as it is. Successful battle. One and a half million experience. And six crystals. Excellent. Really good. Ten crystals for bloody. Thank you guys. Oops. Thanks guys, and also the main quest is done. Another 720,000 experience and 80,000 gold. So all good. We also did the whole of heroes then, the event quest, things just keep on coming my way. It's really good. So now I only have the main quest, so both completed the samsara and the liches then. And now I got the upgrade, which I will not be doing. I will stay at 74 for a while. And the silly got Facebook uh, quest, which I can't do because my email there is blocked. Anyway, long story. So that's it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I think that was a very smooth, nicely run um, dungeon. It was my first time, so maybe I didn't make too many intelligent comments so when I played uh, a bunch of more times then I'll be able to start giving better advice on different aspects of those dungeons so that's it thanks for watching check out my blog um, if the link is in the description of the video or just Google Cosmos Warchune blog um, please do click on like and uh, subscribe it's just under the video just press of a button uh, it always helps. So that's it. Thanks for watching and have a very nice day. And stats wise, um, here is me and my stats. If you want to check out my bag and stuff. Um, skills. Astrals. What else can I click on? Mounts. So you can pause and have a look at those things if you want. But I also publish them on my blog. So that's it. Thanks. Have a wonderful day.